Hello, my name is Dusty Bodine, Dusty Bubbles, and I am an acupuncturist on the west coast of the United States, and I practice something called wild five element Chinese medicine. So what that means is that I practice a style of medicine that is related to the elements of nature. And I also do work where I study acupuncture points and their Chinese character. And their Chinese characters are like metaphors, so they tell stories about these points, you know, that are thousands of years old. Um, and these stories are like little teachers. So every acupuncture point is a teacher. And everything that's in our bodies, like our organs, they have something called a system of correspondence. And this is a magical system um, where we relate different aspects of nature and the human body to organs and elements. So today we're going to work on the heart organ, our beautiful heart. And actually in Chinese medicine, we call them officials because everything is mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. So they are officials because they're not just in charge of moving blood or digesting food, but they also have a mental and emotional aspect to it. So our heart is in charge of joy, which is a beautiful thing. And it houses what's called the Shen. And the Shen can be translated to spirit or mind or consciousness or awareness. And part of the heart's duty is to house the Shen. So is to create a space of tranquility, a space of calmness, a space of equanimity. That is when the heart is in its best. And a lot of Taoist practices and Chinese medicine comes from Taoism are designed to help nourish and root the Shen, since it's the Shen's presence which is necessary for health and a long life. And if the Shen becomes scattered or uprooted, then it can be very difficult to recover from disease. And we look at the heart um, in different ways. We can see it in your eyes. We call that luster in your eyes. Um, which is really to the Shen. So if you've ever met somebody who just has like really sparkly eyes, you can say, oh, that person has good Shen. So today we're going to connect with that heart element. And it's a fire element. And we're going to connect with a point called heart eight. And the name of that point is Shao Fu or lesser palace. And so what we're going to do with these spirit of the point meditations, treating every acupuncture point as a teacher, I'm going to invite you when we're ready to just close your eyes. And as you're looking, if you're watching this on YouTube or you're doing this as a podcast, um, you can listen to my voice on how to find it, or you can stop this and Google heart eight and you'll find it that way. Um, but it's on the palm of our hand. And if you look at your palm of your hand right now, and you can see your wrist crease, and then you follow up towards your ring finger and your pinky finger, and if you spread your fingers, there's a gap. So the, the bones in your palm are called metacarpal bones. It's in between the metacarpal bone for your ring finger and for your pinky finger in your palm, about two thirds of the way up from the wrist crease. You can also just like hold your hand, like hold your own hand. Um, our hands are connected uh, to our heart, which is a beautiful thing. If you uh, have ever look at an infant or a baby, you notice that they clap a lot um, because that's moving your heart chi. And you notice when somebody does something, uh, you know, like at a performance, everyone in the audience claps. It's like we are, we are expressing our gratitude through our heart and through our hands with clapping. So this point, heart eight, um, lesser palace, as we're doing this meditation, I'm going to encourage you to breathe slowly and deeply into your belly and just listen to the sound of my voice and find this point and just hold consistent pressure there and keep breathing and listening to the sound of my voice because I'm going to take you on a journey to meet Lesser Palace. 
to meet this point. And we're going to activate this point. And the idea in activating this point is to nourish yourself, is to nourish your heart. That is one of the main um, functions of our blood. And our heart controls our blood. And our blood is very much connected to our spirit. So yes, we can eat very nutritious food and take care of ourselves to nourish our blood. But we can also do things like this where we slow down, we breathe, we get in touch um, with our inner life. And that will also move our blood and nourish our blood and put our blood in the places in our bodies which needs nourishment. So why don't you go ahead and find yourself in a comfortable situation, whether that's lying down on your back, sitting up in a chair, just a place where you can get comfortable and touch this point on either your left hand or your right hand. It's on both sides. So maybe you, if, if you find the point on the left and the right, you maybe want to use the one that's a little sore um, because that soreness often will mean that there's kind of some kind of stagnation in that point. So this is Shaofu, Lesser Palace, a spirit of the point meditation. Here at Lesser Palace, I connect with the energy of my inner emperor my heart. Here at Shaofu, I prepare to open the gateways to harmony by breathing deeply down into my belly. It is my heart my emperor that guides me with love and compassion. Directing all my meridians to inner peace and health. This is my palace. In my hands. My retreat from the outside world filling my inner chambers with solace and warmth. My fire point on my fire element, heart meridian, revitalizing my spirit so I might let go of old anxieties and doubts. hardships and all of my difficulties are being exchanged for an abundance of love. So I can go forward with self-confidence and softness. Everything in my palace is noble. feel comfort and trust in my hands. I feel comfort and trust in my chest. I feel comfort and trust my inner leadership. At Lesser Palace, I connect with my inner palace and feel the inspirations of the heart. And yet I am grounded in my own sanctuary, 
listening deeply to the emperor who resides within. I am utterly supported by the wisdom of my unique heart. As I continue to activate this point, I feel encouragement to shine. And the more I breathe into my belly, the more relaxed I become. I can feel great treasures living in my ballast. The inner chambers are open and ready for insight. Connecting me more soundly to the natural world so my words are filled with understanding and kindness. This is the place where I can gather fire for my own healing. This is the place that insists me Embracing the Tao. This is the place that assists me in embracing my own heart. I am clear and I am ready. 